Hello children, have a good day. This is teacher Ricky B. Welcome back to our class. Today, you are going to learn facts about integers. If you are new to this channel, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit notification bell so that you will be updated to my uploaded tutorial videos. The objectives of this lesson are describes the set of integers and identify real-life situations that make use of it and compare and arrange integers. Are you ready? Let's start. Let's have a short recall. Natural numbers are so-called counting numbers. These are 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. 0 is not considered as natural numbers. Whole numbers are set of counting numbers, wherein 0 is included. Therefore, 0 is a whole number but not considered as natural number. Integers are whole numbers and counting numbers which consist of positive and negative numbers. Let us observe this number line. This number line is divided into right and left part by the number 0. 0 is an integer that is neither negative nor positive. The number on the right side of 0 are the positive integers. These positive integers can be written with or without positive sign. While the numbers on the left side of 0 are negative integers, which must be written with negative sign. Since integers are whole numbers, decimals and fractions are not integers. We usually encounter integers in our daily life. So, there are real life situations that can be modeled by integers. And the most common of these is temperature. If temperature is above zero, therefore, it represents positive integers. Example, positive 30 degrees Celsius. If the temperature is below zero, therefore, it represents negative integers. Example, negative 10 degree Celsius. Integers can be modeled as well by this example. The sea level represents zero, while the above sea level represents positive integers, and below sea level represents negative integers. Let's say the iceberg is 30 feet above sea level. It means it is equivalent to positive 30 feet, while the fish is 75 feet below sea level. It means it is equivalent to negative 75 feet. We can also encounter integers in money. Let's say your sister give you 100 pesos, but you returned 50 pesos of it. What is the net of your money? We can say you have minus 50 pesos or negative 50 pesos. But we all know that you cannot buy anything by negative 50 pesos. It is just a representation that you lost 50 pesos. Let's have some situational phrases which can also represent integers. The plane is 250 feet above the ground. Our word clue here is the word above, which represents positive numbers. This means that it can be represented by positive 250 feet. 
Another example, your weight decreased by 2 kilograms. Our keyword here is decrease, which means it is negative 2 kilograms. Here are some word clues that describes positive and negative integers. Now, if we were asked by this question, what is 3 units to the right of positive 1? It means that we need to move 3 units to the right of positive 1. Let's do it. There. It means 3 units to the right side of 1 is positive 4. This represents addition, that when we add 3 plus 1, that gives us positive 4. Let's have another example. What is 3 units to the left of positive 1? This means that we need to move 3 units to the left of 1. Let's do it. There it is. We get negative 2. This represents subtraction when 1 minus 3 is equal to negative 2. Now, let's learn how to compare integers. In comparing integers, we need to understand that the numbers to the right of 0 becomes bigger and bigger. Or, the farther the number from 0 gives greater value. While the numbers to the left side of 0, which is negative integers, become smaller and smaller. This means that the farther the number from 0, the lesser the value. Therefore, we can assume that in positive integers, the bigger the number, the bigger the value. While in negative integers, the bigger the number, the smaller the value. So, the value of 0 is always greater than any negative integers and less than positive integers. Let's try an example. Let's compare 0 and negative 5. Since negative 5, is a negative integers and it can be found to left of number 0, this means that 0 is greater than negative 5. Let's have another example. Let's compare 0 and positive 5. Since 5 here is positive and can be found to the right side of 0, this means that 0 is less than positive 5. We also need to understand that all positive integers are greater than all negative integers or all positive integers and 0 are greater than all negative integers. It means that negative integers are less than 0 and positive integers. Let's try this one. Let's compare positive 2 and negative 5. When we take a look on the number, it seems that negative 5 is greater than positive 2. But since all positive numbers are greater than negative numbers, so positive 2 is greater than negative 5. 
Let's have another one. Let's compare negative 3 and positive 1. As you can see here, we are comparing negative integers and positive integers. We all know that all negative integers are less than positive integers. This means that negative 3 is less than positive 1. Let's have this one. Let's compare positive 5 and positive 2. As you can see here, positive 5 and positive 2 are both positive integers. So since in positive integers, the bigger the number, the greater its value. Therefore, positive 5 is greater than positive 2. How about this one? Positive 25 and positive 38. Good job! 25 is less than positive 38. Let's compare negative 5 and negative 1. If we take a look at the numbers, it seems that negative 5 is bigger than negative 1. However, since we are comparing negative integers, we all know that in negative integers, the bigger the number, the lesser its value. So it means that the smaller the number, the greater its value. Therefore, negative 5 is less than negative 1. How about negative 14 and negative 28? Good job! Negative 14 is greater than negative 28. Now, let's learn how to arrange integers using number line. Let's try to plot the following integers in the number line. And let us arrange them from smallest to largest or in increasing or ascending order. If we're going to plot 2 on the number line, the position will be here, positive 2, negative 5, positive 7, positive 4, negative 9, 0, and positive 3. If we're going to arrange them from smallest to largest or in increasing or ascending order, the numbers will be in this pattern. To arrange them in smallest to largest, all we have to do is to copy the numbers from left to right. So, the arrangement will be negative 9, negative 5, 0, positive 2, 3, 4, and 7. If we are going to arrange them from largest to smallest or in decreasing or descending order, all we have to do is to write these numbers from right to left. So, the largest integers is 7, 4, 3, 2, 0, negative 5, and negative 9. Let's have another example. Let's arrange these integers. And let's plot it in the number line. So negative 1, positive 2, 0, positive 8, negative 6, positive 5, and negative 4. The numbers are plotted on the number line. Are this one. If we are going to arrange them from largest to smallest or in decreasing or descending order, all we need to do is to write the set of integers from right to left. So the largest number here is 8, 
5, 2, 0, negative 1, negative 4, and negative 5 as we arrange them in decreasing or descending order. And if we're going to arrange them in increasing or ascending order, meaning from smallest to largest, all you have to do is to write the set of integers from left to right. Therefore, negative 6 is the smallest, negative 4, negative 1, 0, 2, positive 5, and positive 8. There you go. What if you were asked to arrange these sets of integers without number line? Can you do it? Let's do it together. Let us arrange them in increasing or ascending order, meaning from smallest to largest integers. To arrange, we will start from the negative numbers. We all know that negative integers has a lesser value, so we will identify between negative 5 and negative 12. Which one has the lesser value? Remember that in negative integers, the bigger the number, the lesser the value. So, negative 12 is the smallest integers. Next is negative 5. We have three positive numbers such as positive 10, positive 7, and positive 15. We all know that in positive numbers or integers, the smaller the number, the lesser its value, which means that the next smallest number to negative 5 is 7 or positive 7, next is positive 10, and positive 15. There you go. The arrangement of the integers in increasing order will be negative 12, negative 5, positive 7, positive 10, and positive 15. Let's have another one. Let's arrange the following set of integers in decreasing or descending order, meaning from, from largest to smallest numbers. So we will start from the positive numbers such as 29, positive 16, and 0 because 0 is neither negative nor positive integers. So we all know that in positive numbers or integers, the bigger the number, the greater its value. Therefore, in the sets of integers, the largest number is 29 or positive 29, followed by positive 16 and 0. Then, let's identify between negative 8 and negative 14 will be the integers next to 0. As you can remember that in negative integers, the smaller the number the greater its value. Therefore, the next largest number to 0 is negative 8 and the last one is negative 14. Therefore, as we arrange it from decreasing to descend or descending order or from largest to smallest integers, we will have positive 29, positive 16, 0, negative 8, and negative 14. Hope you learned something from my discussion. To test how far you learn, try the following. Here are the things that you have learned today.
Thank you for watching this tutorial video. Have a good day and stay safe everyone.